Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a top 10 life hacks for makeup that I use every day in my makeup routine. Um, I can do a video on my makeup routine if you want or a reverse makeup where they do their makeup order in reverse. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So the first um, hack I have on my list, list here, is the eyeliner with tape. Some people just do one tape line and they do it like that. But sometimes I do different. Sorry, there's a mirror right in front of me. That's what I keep looking at. And I sometimes use one more over the edge so I get the entire eye. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. So I'll show you where you use one, this side. We use the two and the difference. So, yeah. I'll put the tape on and I'll be back. Hey guys, and I put tape on, so this is obviously the side where you do my technique and the old one. So, um, I'm just going to use my trusty mirror here, and I'm just going to put it over here so you can see. So, I'm going to do my one first. So, basically, you just fill it in. Hold the tape down if you need to. Sorry if I'm blocking the light. I have to block the light so I can get this. Sometimes people like a thinner or a longer or thicker eyeliner than this, but I cannot see. This could be rubbish because I'm not used to doing eyeliner like this. Ah, look how bad that is. The little job. It's too thick. I do not like it like that. Right, let's do the normal one first. So, yeah, obviously. It's off, so. And put this one off. Oh, my God. It's not the best, but it's. Better than the other one, to be honest. It's just it needs patching a bit, so obviously then you go back in with your eyeliner. And you fill in and make neater lines. Because tape doesn't really stay down properly. So, so with my technique, without technique. So, that's the first one off there. So, uh, I'll see you next one. And... Right, so the next one, my next makeup hack is eye primer. Most people can't afford it or like don't find it anywhere, but um, I managed to get my hands on some, so I actually got it. And I'm going to show you this side with primer on, and I'll do like a basic eyeshadow because I'm not going to make it look nice because I'm very really, I'm really bad at it. And this side I'll just do without, and I'll do a comparison of pigmentation and colour. So, yeah. So I very quickly and rushfully did it and um, as you can see this eye is more pigmented than the other one. I basically just did a ready brown and messed it up so badly. <laughs> like, I had to hold it far away so. This side is better when it's less pigmented because you can't really see it whereas this side. If you're good at eyeshadow, eye primer is the thing for you but I'm not good at it so. Um, I will wipe this off and I'll be back with the third hack out of ten. So the third hack out of ten of mine uh, is the illuminating liquid. So you basically put it on as it's kind of like a prime for your face but then it makes it look glowy. It's supposed to just be a highlighter but I use it as a glow like over face or I put it over your foundation. You can do it either way. And it's the highlighter illuminates skin from PS and it's a nice lovely rose gold kind of colour. Can't really see it in this light because it's in the camera quite so. So basically it's one of these ones where you click in the bottom and then you get liquid that comes out the top like that. And then basically you just do dots of it all around your face. You can even draw a picture on your face. Oh my god, don't oh. 
you know, you just basically put it everywhere that you think it's glowing up, which is basically everywhere. I do not use this at all, guys, because I never need to use it because I'm at school all the time now, so. Basically, after that, you can just blend it out with a big foundation brush. This is a toothbrush, and it is the Oval Slice 10, so. From the Rose Gold set. And as you can, as I can see in this mirror right now, guys, it's basically just glitter. And my entire face is covered in it. I'm going to be glittery. I really shouldn't have done this today with school school. Oh, I know, I already have school, so. Right, if I just shine this here, look, guys, look how glittery I am. You probably can't really see this, but I am so glittery. If I could show you right now how glittery it was. Look, look, you can see it. If I could see it, look. Oh, that's just shadow, but look, you can see how glittery it is. Oh my god. My hands are covered in it as well. It's just basically glitter. Basically. So, um, yeah. Four things coming up. Step four. Well, it's not step four, but basically hack four is using, doing your mascara using one of these tools. I got this for Christmas. I didn't even ask for it, but I, it's just really intriguing. And it's a mascara thing where this one is for your bottom lashes. You put it underneath and you just do your mascara and you put it on the top of it like that and mascara. So I'm going to do this side of this and this side. So I'll be back. I just realised, guys, I need to show you when you use it. So you basically put it underneath your eye and just brush your eyelashes and then you put this one on top. It's basically a guard to stop your eyelashes, like the mascara falling out onto the back of your lids, and I'm done. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to do this. So basically, this is with the thing. There is literally like nothing underneath. Hold on. There's literally nothing underneath my eye. Whereas under this one, you can see little black dots everywhere of the mascara. Um, so that basically is a guard to stop it. So, yeah, halfway through. So the fifth one of my ten hacks is the matte lip. Where people do matte lips and you know the little bits you get that crackle in the real hair is because some people don't use lip primer. But another thing that's basically lip primer is... A little lip up and I'm going to be using Nivea Original Care if you can see that hold on see that Original Care and it's just a lip up and I'm just going to apply a thin layer of it to my lips before I put on my matte lip colour and from my previous video the last one go check it out um I'll try and link it in the description below I'll try if not, just click on the subscribe button and click the subscribe button and click on my little face thing over in the corner. And yeah, and just look at all of my videos. I just dropped that on the floor. Look at all my videos and you should find the one because it was posted two days ago, I think. Um, yeah, so basically I'm going to pick that up and I'll be back. After all that malarkey, the colour I'm going to be using, um, I'm not actually sure whether I'm going to use Better Than Sex or Salvation Velvet Liqueur. They're basically the same, but this one's a little bit darker, so I might go with this colour or this colour. Um, I'm going to do this one because I haven't done this one in ages, and it smells a lot like chocolate. So I'm just going to quickly apply it, but I'll show you. So literally it smoothly goes on nice and shiny i've just realized guys i don't think this is matte but it applies for any lip gloss lip lip oh lip lip liquid lipstick <laughs> um yeah so I'm going to see if it's matte by, oh, God, I hate when I do that and I talk. So basically what I'm going to do is, while I do my a few other hacks, I'm going to leave this on to dry and check whether it's matte or not. If not, I will do the, at the end, I will use a matte colour 
I know that my liqueur one is matte and it dries very quickly. I thought this was matte as well and dried really quickly. But this one clearly does not look like it's matte. <laughs> but I'm going to give it a chance and I'm going to let it dry. So basically this is what it looks like. Um, I'm very bad at blowing it at the moment. If it's a new colour, it's been so much better. So, yeah, I'm just going to carry on. I'm not going to pause it or anything. So, the next one is concealer. So, most of the time, people will do concealer like this. Hold on. They will do the little Pocahontas look under their eyes. And do that above their head and a bit on their chin. And the little line here. That's what they would normally do. But you're doing it all wrong. You're not covering the entire underbag circles and dark circles or anything. So you go literally right from the bottom of the lashes. And you do a big triangle that extends just where normally eyeliner would end. If you do small eyeliner. So basically a triangle. And obviously you do the line and the like, little arrow thing and on your chin. And basically... I'll, show, I'll blend this in and I'll be back. Just a quick disclaimer, I literally just wiped the matte look off because I knew it was going to dry. And this is the concealer. It got all in my eye and everything. I just, oh my eyes are so burning. So, the next one is foundation. And I do confuse them foundation, so I might as well just do foundation now. So, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Wake Me Up. This will be any swatches or anything you want to see colours or anything, go watch my previous video. I'll try and link it, as I said earlier. And they do, you put a little bit on there. But normally people would do it. Where, as me, I get this little one. Put a little bit on it, like that. And I do one section at a time. Because then... You get the entire face done without it being like, I don't know how they describe it, how you would describe it to me, without it drying, I don't know, patch, drying patchy or something. This foundation is not very good, it's very good coverage, but it just basically makes me look gaggy. Probably because I put too much concealer on, but oh well. So the next one will be contour, so I can still do that now. So yeah, this is right. So I'm gonna go in with my Pro Art Contour Kit in this shade right here. Or actually, no, I have this contour kit now. I got a new one today, new contour kit, and it's a little one like this, and it has a few darker shades, and I need a darker one. And obviously it comes with a little brush as well. There, that's concealer, contour, and this is highlight, I think. But I tried the concealer and it's literally like liquid. I think it might be like a lipstick. So I'm just going to quickly get my contour brush, which is this Pro Art one. Go check out my last video. And most people tend to just put it on. <gasps> I really should have just tested that. And they just literally blend it out. And they leave it like that basically. And they leave it a bit patchy, a bit muddy. But that's not how you do it. You get. I'm going to use this one again. Let me clean it up. Yeah, that's basically. And you get this and you put a little bit on your brush. Not too much because you don't want it too pigmented. And you just draw your lines on there. And then you blend it. Wait, use the gloves, sorry. Do you see how much more that's blended in than this side where it's a bit more dark and you've got that little patch? Sometimes, I don't know, another way of fixing it you get your beauty blender and your sheer beauty powder. This is powder and too dark for me, it makes it look orange, but I'm just going to show you. Anyway. Try to 
Okay, let's head back. Hold on. Ah. This video is longer than I expected, guys. And you literally just put that little line down the corner of it, and it makes it look a bit better. And I'll just bake, guys. Don't forget to bake. I forgot to bake. That's the worst part that any girl can do. Forget to bake the bloody cakes. And you can have whatever you think it's here. I'm just going to leave that on and I'll be back. So basically the next hack is the second from last is hollow. So I have my Revolution Highlight Palette. Um, Hold on. I'll just get it out. Oh, let's keep it in the box because what it's going to be so. Ta da! And you have three colours. Most people get it on their brush, a little fan brush, thin one, and they just put it on normally like they normally would. And then I just keep it so. Just normally, and that's it. That is not how you do it. With your finger, with your little finger, maybe that's my nice acrylic finger, <laughs> you put it on your hand, like that, and you literally place it on where you need it. Doesn't matter if it's messy, you're gonna blend it. Uh, keep it dry. So it should look messy, don't worry. Um, and you're not gonna blend it with a fan brush, because the fan brush is literally light powders on your skin which if you want a light powder then go ahead and do it this way but you're going to need an oval 8 size for this one and you basically just blend it out until you feel it's necessarily blended out basically don't take me long to blend this out because I'm a very violent blender unless I do it on somebody else then I will do it nicely Oh, I really need to wash my face. Alright, I'm going to have to wash my face tonight. Okay, so the last but not least is blush. And I'm going to be using my Revolution Riverholic Cheeks Palette, which I use to do my eyeshadow, highlight sometimes and stuff. I told you all about it in the last video. Promo. So. I do not have a blush brush at the moment, but for now I'm going to just use one of my toothbrush brushes and I'm just going to go in with where is it with this peachy colour down here or this one one of these two or this one um, and I'm just going to go in with an oval size 7 six, seven. and I'm just going to lightly put some on there because I don't want too much and you're just going to brush lightly brush it on like that but you've got to put this on before highlight. I don't tend to wear highlight blush anymore because I used to do this. Hold on. I used to do that with my blush. So I'm very hesitant to ever do any day of the week. Even weekdays. Those are days that you can wear whatever makeup you want. Because you're not at freaking school. So, yeah, that is the end of my video. Give me any video ideas um, in the comment section below. I will try and link my other, like my last video. And yeah, I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will be posting Sunday, hopefully, or Monday. So yeah, goodbye. One quick thing to add before I quickly end this. So that goes. Um, I'm just going to quickly get my dash back up. But one quick thing before I end this video, I just want to say um, a huge thank you to everyone who supported me from the beginning of my videos I know I haven't really posted that many because I've deleted most of them because they're not very good content for you guys and I want the best quality for you guys um, but I would film on my iPhone obviously but the audio is just messed up and you would not hear me at all 
which is probably a good thing for most people that watch my videos. Anyway, um, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Any new videos, um, subscribe for new videos. Hopefully, every Monday, Wednesday, and Sunday. Sometimes it might be Sunday and uh, Wednesday, or Monday and Wednesday, or Wednesday and Sunday. It can be any day, Monday, Wednesday, or Sunday. But any of those days. Um, yeah, sorry for making this video long. Um, hope you enjoyed watching my video, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe.